So while you can build an entire configuration all at one time, you can also select a level and add it independently if you are already in a level structure that you are happy with. So let's say we wanted to take our stage level and add it to this level. We can just select our stage level. We will not be able to make a copy of it while we do this. The copy only works when you build a level structure. And then you can just hit this little add button and it'll automatically add that to your level. So you can also add a template and display config to your level by selecting an in-camera VFX frustum or whichever template you'd like and then hitting the add and display config to level. Uh, so now what that's going to do is it's going to just add a template and display config to add a user config to your already existing level. You can just select user config and then in the drop down, find your end display config that you already have set up. If you don't already have your end display config set up, you have to go back to some of the other videos. I'd recommend going through our training online course. And uh, so I'm going to make a copy of that and then I can just hit add end display. And now you can see our stage generated in the background. I can come over here and use my snap stage to view tool and then bam, we are set and this level is set up to go. So if you need to remove a level from your level structure, uh, I'd recommend going into your levels tab, which you can go to window and then levels. And then if you right click your levels tab and go down to remove selected.